So in the series, what I was hoping for was that we would have a set of very modern, attractive uh, posters that explained a bit about the research that uh, we're doing in the school and that would create a, an impression or an image at least that this is a modern school with modern research and a lot of our previous uh, photos that were along this corridor, which is a very busy one, mm -hmm. uh, were black and white photos from the 19th century of people that nobody recognised anymore. So I really wanted to, to move away from that. We worked with artist Emer O'Boyle to communicate the work of the school to the broader public. Often somebody from outside a subject kind of dives straight in with the really hard questions uh, that we still don't know the answers to. So that's always uh, fantastic to have an excuse to, to talk about those kinds of uh, big, big questions. So my interest in the human experience of physics really derives from what were my prejudices, prejudices about physics um, before I arrived here. I had conceived or perceived physics as something that was very cold and removed and remote from humanity and of course these kind of prejudices when you come face to face with the people involved are obliterated and I became very interested then in really exposing the ultimately um, human activity of this type of research. So there are eight portraits in the collection and they represent people who work in all different capacities around the school. Very often um, it's only the, the top physicists that maybe will have their portrait done, but what this series does is it celebrates the network of people, including um, technical and administrative, as well as researchers and students. Here in the context of, the, of UCD School of Physics, what, what they do is they assert the, um, the human experience within this discipline that is often considered remote from humanity. The response to the works has been really positive, I think, from most people who've encountered them. Um, uh, for example, this work I'm standing in front of, um, when Emer told me about it, I, I had a moment of panic um, when she said she was doing a memorial card for John Eves. Um, Clearly it was born out of their conversations and his work in quantum mechanics where um, many possibilities exist um, before the observation happens. And um, I know, speaking to John's mum, uh, she was very uh, agitated initially, but then when she actually saw the work, she, she appreciated it. When the posters were finished, uh, we wanted to find ways to keep this collaboration uh, alive. And I suppose the, the thing that we wanted to promote was the idea that artists and physicists could collaborate. Uh, so we set up an undergraduate module uh, called Tunneling Art and Physics, which is a collaborative module between physics students and fine art students in NCAD. We ran the module for the first time this semester as a pilot and I must say we've been amazed at how the students uh, have worked together but also at the differences you see between the disciplines and the different approaches and, and the creative things that can happen between those different approaches.